three-judge panel in Minnesota has just declared Al Franken is in effect the winner of that Senate seat. Democrat Scott Murphy has won the race for New York's 20th Congressional District. Republican James Tedesco has conceded. If you stand with us, if you talk to your neighbors and your friends and your co-workers, you call your members of Congress and your senators, if you re-elect John Corzine, if you work hard to believe in a future that is good for our children and our grandchildren, there is nothing that's going to stop us, New Jersey. The choice, the choice this November could not be clearer. In our candidate creed deeds, we have a man of uncompromising moral integrity, a heart as big as the outdoors, and the vision to keep Virginia moving the right way. I need every one of you to knock on doors and make phone calls and get fired up once again so that we can go towards the future confident with Cree Deeds leading the great Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Look at this ad okay. that the DNC is now running. He said we should cancel the Recovery Act. He falsely claimed no projects had been awarded in Ohio. He opposed the Recovery Act, but then took credit for a project in his district. Here's a new ad from the Democratic National Committee. Senator DeMitt is playing politics with our health care, putting the special interests in Washington ahead of South Carolina families and businesses. The only health care plan Jim DeMint supports is no plan at all. Republicans want to end Medicare. You heard right. Republicans actually voted to abolish Medicare for future generations. My belief is we will, in fact, be greeted as liberators. Baghdad's brief calm ended today. Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. The enhanced interrogation techniques were absolutely essential. The strategy of the Republican Party is to say no and to hope that the economy does badly so they can come back next year. Precisely zero Republicans nope. voted for the stimulus plan. Until the Republicans have something other than nope. saying no to Obama's nope. agenda. They're the party of, of Dr. No. No Republicans voted in favor of either nope. of them. Nope. Number. Well, um, the, a budget without numbers, <laughs> I think, isn't that like selling a car without wheels? It does not have, in the, in the sense of a traditional budget, numbers. Well, it certainly was short on details, and I think they would have been better not to put it out there until they, they, they fill in the blanks. I am very frustrated, Mike, because I w we've been waiting for this. We cut away from the president to hear the big buildup. Republicans have a plan. They have ideas. They're not the party of no. And now it is my incredible honor to introduce to you the President of the United States, President Barack Obama. This weekend, the Democratic Party's advocacy arm, Organizing for America, kicked off a campaign-style lobbying effort, hosting meetings across the country to build public support for the health care push. To get this done, I need your voice to be part of the debate, and it needs to happen now. That's what Organizing for America is all about. We're having an open discussion on health care, health care that is quality and really affordable. Hi, Alice. My name's Patty. Patty is a member of Organizing for America. She's phoning Indianapolis residents looking for support for President Obama's health care reform. President Obama launched this health care reform bus tour right here in Phoenix. The Organizing for America bus is coming to the Duke City tonight. wanting to remain responsible and carry health insurance, I applied for an individual plan. Um, it came back rejected. 
because of my polycystic kidney disease. I was employed and I was laid off for a while and I lost the health care that I had. They had this health care program that you can pay for, you know, until you find another job. But I couldn't afford to pay for it. And I got bills for the doctor, bills for the surgeon, for the mammogram and for the sonogram and then the stereotactic biopsy was $10,000. Of that, my insurance company paid a couple hundred bucks. My son has cerebral palsy and epilepsy. He's four. When I lost my job, I lost my health insurance too. My insurance company wouldn't fully cover me when I got sick. My father-in-law walks with a limp because he didn't have health care. My husband's job covered us until he was laid off. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for health care reform. I still believe that we can act when it's hard. I still believe we can replace acrimony with civility and gridlock with progress. I still believe we can do great things and that here and now we will meet history's test because that's who we are. That is our calling. That is our character. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America.